Hello and welcome to Mr Ridley's Design and Technology. In this clip we're going to look at development materials. Now this is something I think which is a really easy way of accruing or accumulating marks for your GCSE NEA. Now this sheet, development materials, this works together really is quite um, sort of works together with this sheet. So this sheet I've called 14, this sheet I've called 13. I've already made a clip featuring this sheet and, and just putting this one in context. So this sheet is about looking at different materials, so it's investigating the materials that you might use. And on this sheet you don't want to just list, a, I've seen students where they've listed a bunch of materials and said this is plywood, this is wood, uh, you know, this is softwood, this is acrylic. That you really won't get the marks. If you do it in conjunction with some CAD drawings, and I'm going to show you how to do the CAD drawings or how to, to, to render these CAD drawings with different materials. And then it's really important that you focus your um, which materials on how they'll meet the needs of the user, how they'll perform, and what finishes and um, any kind of finishing that they might need. So that's really what we're going to look at with this sheet. So we're going to take a little bit of a closer look here um, at the first one here. So what I've actually done, this is for a garden light. Um, it would be an exterior garden light. Um, in previous sheets of this series of NEA sheets, I've discussed the needs of the client. Um, I've looked at CAD drawings and of construction techniques. So now we're looking at materials. So with the materials here, I've drawn CAD drawings or rendered CAD drawings of three different sets of materials. So if we look at closely at this one, so this one says material four millimeter exterior grade plywood. And I've just shown there, there you can see a little image of the plywood, but really what I've talked about is I've talked about what I would need, so if you can look at that, what I would need for a, prote a protective coating, and I've suggested Danish oil because I've said that it's going to be used outside, so I'm looking at the function, so how the material relates to the function. And then down here, I've said that um, I think my client would be happy with this, so I've looked at the, the uh, aesthetics of it, how it would look, and I've said that I think it would be easy to work with. So I've, I've related back to my construction techniques because these are all all part. And last of all, I've said the plywood would of course be chosen from FSC certified managed forestry, which would be the most sustainable material choice. So I, I've looked at that material choice. I've looked at one here, which you can see is mild steel. So that's a mild steel, um, one millimeter mild steel sheet. Here, I've just shown that again, and I've suggested a, a, a clear lack of protection. Here I've said that it would be more durable but more difficult to work with. So again, looking at the different um, properties of the metal, looking at how it might meet my client's needs. And I've also just suggested there, which I'll just close in on, uh, I've drawn a, a patina finish, which would be leaving the mild steel without a finish. Last of all, um, I've got this one, which is aluminium and acrylic. So I've created those drawings. Um, Let's have a look at how they're done. Okay, how do we do this? Well, here you can see I have a um, lamp, a CAD drawing of the garden lamp, and this is just blank. It's, it's all, it's not rendered at all. So obviously, just to show the different materials, what we need to do is just use the render tool. So we click on here, our paint tool, and we're just going to use the paint pot tool and you can notice that when we do that this opens this side toolbar here with different textures and colors so if we look at this one for example if we choose this color um, we can just click and click so it's just clicking and filling each panel so you've got some choices here um, if we look we've got things um, like fabrics, um, we've also got um, roofing, although the roofing is rather large scale and doesn't really work wonderfully there. But if we were choosing um, 
a wood, for example, if we use the wood tool here and we click on this and if we want to show, we might want to show a, a um, lamp made from plywood, for example, but we might want to have a different um, features on the windows and stuff like that. So if we clicked on the metal, for example, and we were going to have plywood, but with um, metal fixings here. And it, it's just a case of zooming in and filling in those parts. And once you've done that, you can copy this image. So you select your different materials. You use these toolbars here to navigate and find suitable fills that will match the materials that you're going to use. And then just simply fill the parts of the drawing that have the, with the correct color. So you can see just zooming in there to do that. And there, if we were going to have a plywood and maybe aluminium lamp, that would be great for us to do. So that's how we use SketchUp just to render up or um, fill these images and depict the materials. Okay, so there again, we can see the three main images that I've rendered up. Um, plywood, mild steel, and aluminium and acrylic. I've described those, and then last of all, we've just looked, there's a, a, a conclusion. Now the conclusion should always pull the sheet together and just give you where I'm going next, where I've gone with this. So after discussing materials with my client and sharing these CAD images with them, I will go ahead with a four millimeter exterior plywood. So you've come out of this sheet with a real decision on, I'm gonna use this material because, um, the two main deciding factors were the look of the plywood that appealed most to my client, um, and she said it would match other things in her garden. So, um, and secondly, I have the availability of a laser cutter, so you're talking about, again, relating to that other sheet about manufacture. So there's that sheet, um, that's sheet, that's a development sheet, and I say completing this like that, I think is an easy way to add really good marks, sound marks, to your development section of your NEA coursework. That's it, I hope you found this useful, and thanks for watching Mr. Ridley's Design and Technology. Um, if you, this has been helpful, I hope this has been helpful. If it has, if you'd like to like, and also if you want more GCSE revision and GCSE coursework help, be sure to subscribe. Thanks very much for watching.